What's up, y'all? Good morning. Yeah, that person here. And um, you know I got the package. So today we're talking about the boosted beams. Yes. I am so stoked about this. This is like, yeah, one of the stokiest things so far for me, honestly. Um, yeah, integrated lights. How long have you been around? V1, V2, V3? So when the V2s came out, they started having the accessory port underneath the trucks. And long, 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 long awaited, we got them. Um, integrated lights, and they are pretty awesome. So let's check them out. The whole setup comprises of a couple of things here. We got some new risers for the front and back. Um, whole metal system up front for these and in the back it's um, more plastic anyways so I am not trying to do the bash guards um, as you see in the video here where I've got a set up we don't have any bash guards on I think you can make it happen my issue is I was setting these up with the 105s and adding bash guards is gonna add a lot of height and I went with the bigger risers at first as soon as I got them on I took the bigger risers off and I went down to the smaller risers because I have the 105s on and I just saw this board getting bigger and bigger and it was more looking like a monster truck and I didn't want it to look like a monster truck I wanted it to look like a badass stealth so yeah I went with the smaller risers and um, everything goes together pretty easy I mean it's probably depending on um, your mechanical skills between 20 minutes and an hour I believe anybody can do it um, you know you just, I believe you can do it so go ahead and give it a shot these are coming in I think at 199 200 bucks which sounds expensive um, but if you've been in the game you know one Eastgate's expensive two lights are expensive um, uh, you know you can get bike lights and strap them on you're gonna lose a bunch of them in a year and you always got to take them off and charge them uh, if you're doing the shred lights shred lights are awesome you can now charge them even while they're on your board and everything um, you still have to turn them on and off um, they're much cheaper than these but these you don't even have to turn you can turn them on and off here with a double press the lights will come on and off what's also cool is in the back when you pull into reverse or brake the light will light up just like it did right there uh, like a regular brake light in a car or whatever right so yeah. so um, what else they got the high output USB-C port so you can charge remote or possibly other things off of it which is pretty cool interested to see what cool things get done with that um, and so they've got some flash they got a flash pattern I really hope they do better because the flash pattern is just like so I'll, I'll get some clips on here and show you guys all of that um, it does have an adjustable scroll bar where you can turn up and down percentage wise in increments of five the percentage of power to the headlights which is kind of cool really customizable in that regard I just really want more flash patterns I want like a fast strobe I want like a pop 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 type strobe um, yeah and I maybe want a blinky lefty righty but who knows if when any of that could ever happen but this is what we got right now, and that alone is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. So they go on relatively easy. Like I said, uh, I feel just about anybody could do this. Uh, if you need help, I'm sure you got somebody in your community that can help you. Um, this is my first day riding them. I'm not expecting to see a big range impact on them. And because I just went to these 105s, I'm not gonna be able to be honest and say, oh yeah, there is or there isn't a big range difference. But come on, they're like, they're like LED lights. It's not a lot of power. And it's really nice being able just to drop the board, hit the buttons and go, ah, that reminds me of the one other point I meant to hit a second ago on the app. There's a few settings in app that you can do with these. And you do need to update your app and you have to flash your firmware for the beam so that everything is up to date, which is all super, super easy. You just do it through the uh, boosted app. But backtracking to that point, um, you can set the lights to turn on when you turn the board on. 
um, so that whenever the board comes on, the lights come on, and then you can still turn them off with the double tap, and then they'll go off. So that's all up to you in what you want to do. Um, these are the boosted beams. I'm, yeah, that person. I think I tried to cover everything. I hope I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you didn't, feel free to yell at me in the comments and um, tell me everything I did wrong because that would be really cool. Um, I love you guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, if you want me to do a video on something, let me know. Um, yeah. Boom.